So this one's called Frostpunk. Looks like a kind of a post-apocalyptic real-time strategy, maybe. Let's see what it's about. Maybe uh, this is like a story mode. Let's see. Oh, sweet. Here's the intro movie. Look at that awesome uh, behemoth we got. It's like a sand crawler. Yeah, it's a uh, big band. I'm showing all these images. It's like London. Um, With it. Yeah, in classic kind of steampunk style. So we've got Victorian uh, industrial revolution machines and uh, snow. So yeah, here's the story like I thought. You're going north, I guess, to find a generator and we have to survive. Looks pretty brutal. Yeah, so we're in a, a coal era still. That's my mission, and let's see, here's the GUI. We have a few different things. We got discontent, hope, construction, laws, economy, some tutorial stuff. We got resources, coal, wood, steel, steam cores, and uh, temperature overlay, food, food rations. Um, I got some people. They're all unemployed, trying to fight the cold. Okay, let's get a handle on what's going on here. Looks like we got the tech tree here. It has a book of laws and uh, all these things. I can research child labor, that's nice. So that's pretty amusing within, you know, my first five minutes of gameplay, I guess I ruined my chance of survival because I used all my wood. And uh, so now I had to start over. Alright, that's great. All I did last time was try to build some tents, because I figured these 80 people could use somewhere to live, but... I guess I shouldn't have done that, so I started again, and I built a road, and this gathering post, so they can get some steel and some wood, and then I can build more gathering posts to get the coal, which is actually my mission here. So hopefully that works out. Alright, so the game is suggesting that I put children to work. That's nice, I guess. Okay. Child labor it is. Well, alright. Not much has changed in uh, the last half hour I've been playing, except I got this beacon now. Um, and I guess there's some lost people I'm gonna go and find. There's a crash site. But I gotta get a bunch of wood. So we're zooming in here. Um, I've enacted child labor labor laws, 24-hour shifts. Yeah, all in all, the game's pretty bleak. Uh, someone just died. Okay. Died in an accident, huh? All right, I'm just about to send out a scout team. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. Okay. Go and send the scouts. What are y'all waiting for? Alright. Great. So, we'll see how that goes. I guess it's going to take them 10 hours to get there, and it just got way colder. It's now negative 40 degrees Celsius. Oh. And someone else just died. That's too bad. So, yeah, the corpses are just going to have to wait a while, because I have to wait ten more hours before I can enact a law that allows me to do something with corpses. So, that's tough. Alright, my scouts recovered like 30 people that were out there in the freezing cold, and brought them back. Huzzah! Well, okay, it's probably been an hour and a half, and... I've researched, so now I can have two scouts. I'm gonna send them over this way. And, um, yeah, look at this bleak landscape, huh? So, there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, my city's getting a little bit bigger. You see that it, like, kind of cylindrically grows. Um, yeah, so that's, that's about 
uh, it, I guess. Um, this is Frostpunk. It's pretty bleak. Um, yeah, you get these laws that make people's lives worse, but I guess help them survive. Um, I've got people who have gangrene, and I've just authorized them to be amputated forcefully. So that's too bad for them. Um, I found that uh, food's a pretty precious resource, and you, you can't really get a whole lot of it. I've had to build like five of these hunters' tents, and I'm still running low on food. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Oh. Um, oh, hey, they came back with a bunch of stuff. That's great. So I got more workers and more food, so I don't know. Man, this is a... I need hot houses, I guess. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to call the review there. And um, maybe give some summarizing notes. Okay, Frostpunk. Yeah, I played, played for like an hour and a half. And um, like a lot of those sort of management strategy games, there's a lot of mm, depth involved. And you can make the timer just go, 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 and uh, things will change real quick. So you have to micromanage a lot and then once you get things running it's like a well-oiled machine it's kind of satisfying but um, I didn't quite get there I can see that there's a tech tree that has a lot of room for development and um, I didn't play too long but it seems like the kind of game that I could obsess over so if you're into management games like that um, what was the other one like Anno 1400 or something and then the um, where, yeah, you manage a city and you manage the resources. Um, sorry, it's kind of late if I sound tired. Um, okay, thanks for watching. We'll cut it there.